collection was done for my collaboration between uh, Joey Mandagi and Jackal Trading. Mm -hmm. So basically what you can see is a bridal track uh, for this collection. This was actually the finale dress that was worn by the model during this fashion show. And uh, what's great about this uh, design is that everything on this dress was all from Italy. All from Italy? All from Italy. Including the feathers as well? Everything in terms of the beads, everything. You see, it is 100% Italian uh, materials but made in Malaysia. And I think I have come up with such a great uh, result is that it looks so luxurious and it it, this is how we call it couture. Mm -hmm. You see, couture, so many people call it couture design. Right. Couture is actually not a type of design. Couture yes, is actually the way how the dress was made. Mm -hmm. You see, couture is a class. You see, on its own. You can get, you can get, um, I mean, the cheapest material and make a couture dress. You can get a paper, I mean, like a paper, to be a couture dress. Right. As long as it's done, a mm -hmm. couture way of doing it you see so i think this is an example of a, how a good couture dress uh, should be and uh, in malaysia in fact uh, a matter of fact is that we don't have much quality designers that could come up with good womanship yeah in in, in particular which is good womanship i mean there's so many designers in malaysia are very creative but in terms of womanship very few so in, for this dress particularly, how many people were involved in making it? In this dress, there would be at least about 10 people working on it for as uh, long as um, 10 to 14 days. 10 to 14 days? 10 to 14 days because everything is almost handmade. Yeah, it's 90% handmade. Uh, the sewing, just a little bit of it, it was done uh, with a uh, machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but most of it are all uh, so hand sewn. Brilliant, very beautiful. Thank you. This is my favorite piece for this collection uh, where this is like the real me uh, as I said to Azura I mean like my forte is really in, in, in uh, evening dress and this is how um, the interpretation of my couture evening dress I mean like the work of it I mean the material that I use and uh, the detail uh, that was um, being put into it I mean this is all the Italian uh, embroidery I mean the beads are all very fine beads and I love how the wet the feathers falls you see the drapes of the net and I don't know I, I, I think it's a perfect dress for someone that is uh, daring enough to, to be in a function um, and, and a look, train a train <laughs> amazing <laughs> amazing so I think yeah we should sh show to the audience I mean like the back of the dress where the beauty is mm -hmm. wow now you, you want to make sure if someone is wearing that dress the other person walks 10 feet away from her or 5 feet away from her. I think yeah, people will make a bit of distance to enjoy the beauty of the dress. I mean yeah, this is one of the dress that I would say I'm pretty proud of. Yeah. Okay. I mean like with the work and also the result. And what's the history of this? When was it created? This was created uh, very quite recent. Yeah, it was created in uh, June this year, mm -hmm. uh, and the show was held in uh, the month of July. Mm -hmm. The month of July, so, um, so it was again. Yeah, this is the collection that we collaborated with um, uh, with Jackal Trading. Basically, there is no theme. There is no specific theme or uh, what do you call it, uh, name of this collection. Uh, you see, because I practically took I mean, it's a different different bits of material from Jackal that they want to work with I mean they want me to work with and uh, all of them are all the, the most high-end materials and this is one of them I mean like uh, in particular like this dress I mean like the material of this this part I mean the bluish and the, the silverish part actually came in a piece of cloth it was embroidered on a plain tool mm -hmm. so I actually cut pieces of it and patch it on my own to get this kind of flow and pattern. Mm -hmm. So, has anyone expressed interest in purchasing this yes, one yet? Yes, really? uh, it has been duplicated in a different colour as a short dress. Mm -hmm. as a short dress. Seriously, let's save the best for last year, <laughs> right, in this case. Well, you see, this is like a... Oh, don't, don't 
come close to this one. <laughs> it's really a bit sexy. <laughs> okay, uh, this is like a the semi bridal, semi evening piece where you can see. I mean, like it is possi possible for you to wear whether it is for a wedding. I mean, to be the bride, uh, yeah, or to be in an evening ball um, event. So the material that I used for this one would be a French tool and also French lace and everything again is almost 90% hand uh, sewn. Mm -hmm. So um, and everything is so delicate as you can see it is um, very alluring, very I mean very uh, elegant and this is how I always portray my dresses. I, they are all very rich and regal at the same time elegant and sexy you see. It's a bit over the top but <laughs> There's definitely lots of detail in there. A lot, a lot. I mean, the beading, how long did that take? Uh, the the, just at the first um, A long time, quite a long time to finish all that. Yeah, quite a long time to finish all that. Wonderful. And when was this, um, when was this created? Uh, same time same with time. the other two. Right. 